no settling down. My text go to screen, you know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clan Fan? Back at it again with some NBA 2K23, my NBA eras. We're in the off season, We're heading into the 1987-88 season, and uh, so far it's been kind of a disappointment. Honestly, we haven't been doing that well. We had a year where really we should have won the NBA title. Magic Johnson was injured. Boston Celtics got beat in the first round, and uh, we just couldn't get it done. So hopefully, the salary cap increases in the next few years. And maybe we can sign some players other than just Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon. Historic changes. Let's see what's going on in the NBA. The top three picks are done via random weighted draw. Remaining lotto picks are determined by team record. The Knicks are changing their uniforms. Completely rebranded from the Washington Bullets to the Washington Bullets. Changing the name, logo, uniforms, and floor. Bulls are changing their uniforms and floor. So are the Cavaliers. Rockets aren't doing anything. We're going to accept both Akeem and Michael's team options, of course. So really what we need is, I mean, we we got a decent roster right here. We got Michael Jordan, Akeem Olajuwon, Dennis Rodman, and Larry Nance. So what we need to do is we need to get a bench. We need to get a point guard. Could bring back Daryl Walker. I'd be fine with that. I mean... He is a 77 overall. He's the best he's the best point guard out there. So you know what? Let's try to bring him back. If we go over cap, I'm fine with that. We got Daryl Walker back on the team. That's good. So now the roster. Still, still a little bare when it comes to the bench. But our starting lineup, as long as Larry Nance comes back from his broken neck, we should be all right. See what our team's looking like. Akeem's up to a 94. MJ's up to a 94. Daryl Walker goes up to a 77. Dennis is a 74. And then everybody else freaking... Larry Nance is going to be back, though. He's going to be back by the beginning of the season. And you know what? We might trade him. Let's take a look at uh, our tasks here. We're kind of underwhelming at the point guard position. We don't have enough assets. We don't have enough assets to get a good point guard. It's important that we turn a profit. We can do that. Want to make sure that we're still buzzing in social media. Make no promises because social media doesn't exist. So again, 2K takes away to where we can talk to, like actually have visual conversations with players, coaching staff, the owner, all that. They take that away from this mode. So they put in these my tasks to make it seem like, oh, well, here you go. Here you're talking to people. It's the same tasks every year. Nothing changes. So, again, I don't know how many more... Se I'll try to probably play this all the way through till today. Today's era. But this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. I cannot believe 2K basically just wiped my GM. Just completely wiped it. A great game mode with great stories that was kind of unique in the sense that not a lot of other games had a, a mode like this where you're the GM and you talk to other people, you talk to players, you talk to coaches, you talk to sponsors, you talk to owners of other teams, and now it's this. It's resulted to this. Tasks. You have got to be shitting me. So everybody's hyped about this My Eras. It's great, don't get me wrong, but it's just my league with a facelift. That's all it is. But you better believe that they have a new park every year. You better believe that they have new packs every year. You better believe they have a new My Career story every year. What about us? What about the people that want to play My GM? What about those people? What about the people that want a story for the game modes we play? Instead of tasks that they wrote two sentences of dialogue and that's that. Give me a freaking break, 2K. Give me a break. Again, I understand. Not a whole lot of people play my GM or played my GM. I get it. But you know what? If there was a way to monetize my GM, if there was a way to make money from my GM, you better believe they would be rolling out a new my GM every single year. But because you can't buy packs on my GM, because you can't buy your GM 
shoes and a jersey and tattoos and a haircut. Because you can't spin VC on my GM mode, they don't give a shit about it, and they basically just wipe it off the face of the earth. 2K, you know what? I get it. I really do. My GM doesn't make you money. Don't even give us dialogue then. Don't even put this crap in the game. It's not worth it. Just call it my league. Because that's what it is. It's my league with a couple additions. It's so frustrating to have a game like 2K18 and 2K19 where my GM has a story and it's fun and it's enjoyable and there's dialogue and you can talk to people. And now we get this. We get a task. We get six different tasks every season and it's from the same people and they're saying the same things over and over again. But you better believe that we have another my career story. Because God knows we haven't told the my career story ten ways from f***ing Sunday. Okay. Sorry about that. Actually, I'm not sorry about it. And you better believe I'm going to have just a full rant video on this because it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm at the trade deadline and we are 30-9. and nine. MJ and Akeem are carrying. Larry Nance is back in the starting lineup. Everybody's happy. Look at all these... Look at all these green arrows. Everybody is happy right now. There's, I, I'm not going to trade Larry Nance. I thought about it. There is no reason to trade Larry Nance right now. This team is booming at this point. Take a look at the standings. We're number one in the West. We're number, we're number two in the NBA by a game behind the 76ers. No Boston to be found. They're fifth. And the Lakers are sixth. So... It might be time. I mean, we're, I think we're finally past the Magic and Bird point of this. I, I think they're no longer going to be dominating, hopefully anyways. Michael Jordan is your MVP. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. David Robinson, Rookie of the Year. Jay Humphrey, Sixth Man of the Year. He's wearing Kobe's jersey before Kobe uh, was drafted. Patrick Ewing, Defensive Player of the Year. Drew Porter, Most Improved. Tyrone Isley with the Hawks. Ken Adams, once again. Look at the overall of our team. 99 overall, 99 offense, 99 defense. Magic and Larry still on first team, though. Michael and Ake I mean, man, we got two guys... We got two guys on all NBA first team every year it feels like. So we are the number 1 seed finally. I mean they got a decent team but we should beat them. We win game 1, win game 2, lose game 3 and win game 4. So there we go. We're in the next round. Let's see who we got. We got the LA Lakers. Of course we do. And they got Jay Humphreys. He put up 45 in their last game. Magic Johnson, Kevin Duckworth, Jamal Wilkes. We might, we honestly, we might be in trouble here. We might be in trouble. Win game one, win game two. All right, we took care of home court. Lose game three, that's fine. Win game four, and win game five. So we are in the conference finals. We're playing Patrick Ewing in the San Antonio Spurs. And they still got George Gervin. My goodness. They're a six seed. There's no reason we should. All right. All right. We're, we're back on top. Let's. Let's go. Come on. We're back on top. Let's go. All right. First NBA Finals. Finally, we're playing the 76ers who have swept their last two opponents. They got took to the brink by the Cavs, though. So that's a plus. But this team... We're going to have trouble beating this team. They got Moses Malone, David Robinson. Is that Byron Scott? Yep. John Stockton. Oh, my goodness. And they got Chuck Person coming off the bench. Game one, we win, surprisingly. We win by 18. Larry Nance out here balling. All right, game two. We win. All right, so we win game two. 89 to 75. Game three. We win. Are we going to sweep the 76ers? We couldn't sweep anybody up to this point. Are we going to sweep these guys? 
we'll do uh, we'll do some simcast because I wouldn't mind hopping in here if uh, if we end up winning this thing. Go down into Akeem. Oh my goodness! All right, Larry, it's up to you, buddy. Don't shake their hands. We lost. Fudge, man. All right, we're getting out of this. I just wanted to see the celebration, but you know what? We're going to be at home now, right? We're going to be at home. So maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to win this. We're going to win this at home in front of our home fans. That's the way it should be. Now the question is, for the trophy celebration, will they have... David Stern handing the trophy out. That would be sweet. I can't believe it. Finally, it's been what? We drafted both of these guys in 84. We're in 1988. champions. Just tremendous! All the travel, all the practices, all the meetings, all the games, wins and losses, the emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, there is a level of accomplishment and excitement that really can't be matched. Pretty amazing to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. Now, let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA commissioner doing the honor. They actually have David Stern in the game. And they have the old finals MVP trophy. That is amazing. And that's it. We win the NBA championship. I, I'm shocked. I'm stunned. MJ, 37 points, 8 assists, 5 boards, 3 steals. Keem, 33 points. 10 boards, 5 blocks. We did it. We won the NBA championship. We went back in time. We did what the Rockets were actually talking about doing in 1984. There had been talks that they were actually going to trade for the three pick also. And they were going to draft Hakeem and they were going to draft MJ. So we did it. We drafted both of them. And here we are four years later with an NBA championship. Unbelievable. Now what do we do? Now what's next for the Houston Rockets? Where do we go from here? We just won the NBA championship. Michael Jordan, finals MVP, 95 overall. We're going to be tough to beat. As long as we bring these guys back, we're going to be extremely tough to beat. So where do we go from here? Do we stick with the Rockets? Do we go somewhere else? Do we build a dynasty with another team? Actually, we're not even a dynasty yet. You know what? We're going to stay with the Rockets for a couple more seasons. We'll see if we can win a three-peat. That's the goal. And that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!